floor again. <clears throat> I said that um, I'd be intermittent in my posting this week because something was going to be happening. Well, there's something that's going to be happening isn't happening now. It's been postponed, so you might be seeing more of me. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. What I'm going to do today, I just wanted to go through a few, just like a little chat about where I'm up to and what's going on. Um, so I'll start with these little books. I've finished three of them. So they're all in their little gingham, little gingham pockets that I made for them. Um, that's one. That's two. And that's three. These little labels say a pocket. Okay, I had them made quite a while ago. And then I've started some more. That's mine that I'm going to keep. Put that there. I've started another one. So I've literally, that's one page. And that's two page. But today, when I finish this video, I am running out of papers. So I'm going to stitch some more papers today. Um, and then I can crack on. I want to make another two, so then I'll have five. Um, but yeah, I'm just loving them, loving them. Now, I don't know about you, but I have, when I'm working, I have a favourite needle, especially for bullion knots, because if you're pulling through 35 wraps, it can be quite tricky. And I have a needle that I've been using for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. It's not good practice, by the way. You're supposed to get rid of your needles quite regularly, because they do blunt. Um, and it's just, anyway, so I've ordered more needles. I thought, get a grip, Karen. Be professional. Get rid of this needle that you've had for so long. Get some more needles. And I also bought more pins. Um, so these are Dritz silk pins. And they've got tiny white heads. Beautifully sharp. Okay. Now, I've got some of them already. You might remember that I've said, or you might recall, that in this pin cushion, I've said, some of them are paper pins and some of them are fabric pins and the fabric pins were always these ones and the paper pins were these old bigger headed things but then I thought it was getting quite difficult to identify in a hurry not in a hurry but when you're working and you need a pin and you've got to fish between all these paper pins for a fabric pin so I've brought another pin pillow into use that's just got my fabric pins in um, it's working much better for me. The only thing is it's taking up a lot of room. I, I have all my stuff on the sofa next to me. If anyone comes to visit me in this house, they can't sit down for 10 minutes till I've moved all the stuff off the settee um, because it's just covered in my embroidery stuff. So I'm using two pin pillows now, which was a good call. Um, and I'm glad that I did that. Okay, so I'll put that there. So, and then my wrapping cloth. Now, I haven't touched my wrapping cloth for quite a while because I got into a bit of a obsession with this um these little books but you might remember a while ago well a couple of weeks maybe i was deciding which pouch to keep things in well i've decided this pouch is where i'm going to keep my wrapping cloth things and um, so it lives in here when i'm not working on it and this is where i'm up to now you won't get a full sense of how big it is nowhere near finished nowhere near um, and what i do with these is i don't measure i just create panels and then join them together and the joining together for me is probably the most exciting part because it gives you opportunities to embellish seams. So like this seam is all bullion loops. This seam is like prairie points and bullion loops. This seam here is all Suffolk puffs. Okay. Um, and then the next panel that I've put together is this one that's not finished. So across that I've got some decorative trimming and it's secured with bullion loops, two sets, rows of bullion loops. And there's a little bit of a plique on there, but it's not finished and it won't be going there because it won't be going next to that fabric. Um, where am I likely to put it? I guess it could go here. Now this will be damp stretched as well um, when it's finished. So I guess, yeah, oh, can caught up on it. So I guess it'll go there maybe, but I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Um, and what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm just going to have it. I've got them in here at the moment, and I'm in my living room. It's like a big living dining room. I've got one, two, three, four wrapping cloths in here, draped over chair, over sofas and things. Um, but for example, if somebody came and said, like, 
a relative, I mean, not just not the postman or the window cleaner, and said, oh, I really like that, I would let them have it. I would say, well, you can have that. Um, I don't want to foist these on people because not everybody appreciates the process or the finished piece. They might see it as, oh, why is she giving me that? What am I going to do with that? How am I going to look after that? So I wouldn't do that unless somebody said, oh, I really like that, then they could have it. Um, so that's what happens with these. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm up to. That's what's going on in Karen's world. Um, she's got loads of papers to stitch. But hopefully I'll get a good run at all that today because my my planned disruption isn't going ahead um, and postponed. So so yeah, I hope you're all all right. Hello, hello, hello. Um, that's it. That's me. I'm gonna have to stand up to turn the camera off because this camera's got the off thing at the back, which is quite inconvenient actually.